So now guys, uh, Loki and I just down at the cabin. Brought down a bunch of stuff to uh, um, so I can stay at the cabin again, you know. Brought down some new dishes I picked up at the cabin, pots and pans, some other things, utensils and stuff. And uh, just got the stove going right now. And I'm gonna clean this place up. And then Lukey and I are gonna go and uh, check our rabbit snares. And hopefully uh, have a rabbit today. And uh, and uh, maybe even uh, get Lukey to flush one out to me. Um, the other night I was down here with a buddy and with Lukey and, and Lukey uh, flushed out two rabbits. And uh, I was I was able to shoot one of them. So Lukey and I had that one for supper yesterday, actually. But yeah, he se seems like he's getting better at uh, tracking down the rabbits and and uh, staying on them, you know. So that's good. But uh, quite the day today, nice and cold. Things are starting to freeze up. And uh, hopefully. Hopefully with a few more cold days like this, I'll be able to uh, cross the pond to my other cabin, the cabin I'm building, instead of taking that terrible trail around the pond. So uh, fingers crossed for that. There's the chimney that fell off up there. I should have put it on before I lit the fire, but I forgot about it. So I guess I'll try to get it on there now. torch on roofing nice eh not professional by no means but I don't have to worry about leaks anymore So I just gotta bring some self-tapping screws, and uh, I'll join all the all the chimney pieces together, and that should stop it from uh, coming apart again. Hopefully. Hi, hi. You're waiting for me? What's that, good boy? That's a good boy. I, know we, I don't know if you guys can see that hole up there from the woodpeckers. Woodpeckers were in there in summer, but now, because I didn't cover that up in time, we got uh, we got a squirrel nest in there, so. that shelf. I don't know he's up there right now but must be gone. He must not be home right now. Hey be a good time to get it out of there. He comes in over there. Bugger. See, I gotta get that out. Well, this is the snare I caught my first rabbit in this year. Well, the, this is the rabbit lead, I should say. But that one was knocked aside, so obviously there's still a rabbit using this one. So I'll reset this one now and uh, we'll carry on. said it before and I'll say it again these GoPro batteries are absolutely terrible in cold weather terrible terrible I don't know if uh, GoPro just thinks like 
only surfers and stuff use their batteries or use their cameras like this is ridiculous if I can find another camera after this one that uh, has long lasting batteries I don't care about the convenience of GoPro or whatever I'll be having a much better camera much better battery battery quality in cold weather this is this camera has just been a piss off for me anyway I got a mink box here I've had it here for probably six or seven years actually right beside the brook a little brook by that runs uh, just below my cabin I got a 120 counter bear trap and I got some uh, some rabbit fur and stuff from uh, cleaning that rabbit yesterday the one that I shot with Lukey so I'm just going to uh, get this bait put in here, get this trap set. It's not out of my way, so I might as well set it and see if we can get ourselves a couple of mink here. Get out of the way, Luke. But I just got to make sure Lukey keeps his nose out of his box because I'm actually after uh, catching a fox in a uh, mink box in a 110 counter bear, actually. And this is a 120, so it's a little more powerful. So if Luke puts his head in there and gets and, and it closes in the right spot, it could kill him for sure. Push that right to the back. Some luck. Another snare broke. Terrible. I'll reset this one again. This is two lost, two lost rabbits I had in this one. Look, one snare there still. One snare there. Maybe the third time is the charm, eh? I'll try it again. What do you know? Another broken snare. Hmm. I'm using the six strand pitcher pitcher wire but obviously that's not working out so we're gonna have to switch it up anyway hard luck well guys that's the third broken snare today had a snare tied onto this tree and i don't know if you can see but it's broken off all flattened down here rabbit buttons and stuff around but so it's over for three on the rabbits today. Pretty shitty odds. So I'm just back at the cabin here. Pretty much dark now. Lukey's still outside chasing something, but uh, I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit here before we head home. But uh, you know, not very successful with the rabbit snaring. We had three broken snares today and zero rabbits. So not good, not good at all. So yeah, like I said, I picked up the uh, ice shack lumber. So I'm building an ice shack. I'd like to have that built before February 1st because that's opening, uh, opening day of trout season. Hello! Hello! Where's your water? Over there. Go get your water. Over there. Good boy. 
Oh, thirsty pup. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, work on the ice shack in the evenings, and then in the daytime I'll be in the woods and stuff. But uh, uh, lots of cold weather now, so hopefully I can cross the pond to my other cabin site in the next few days. I'll be back and forth to test out the ice anyway, see how see how it's uh, how thick it's getting and uh, how safe it will be. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along, uh, take you guys along for the ice shack build. I mean, it's just going to be a little ice shack, four feet by four feet, four foot walls with a two foot peak. So it'll be six feet high right in the center. So that'll be good enough. That'll be enough for, uh, what I'll do is I'll have a, a bench in there that I can sleep on in the nighttime because I want to use this, uh, little ice shack as like a little cabin as well so I'll be uh, spending overnights in there I am looking forward to uh, doing some ice fishing here looking forward to being able to cross the pond to my other cabin site so we can get get the walls going on that so yeah lots of stuff to do so obviously I'll keep up the snare line here for a little bit at least until we go to get some snow you know enough snow to bury everything and I'll, I'll pull all the snares and uh, wait until we get some snow and then I'll reset them so Lukey's pooped hey Luke you tired buddy you tired oh you're a good boy you're a good boy yeah you good puppy good puppy you chasing the rabbits huh so I'm here at the pond where I'm building the cabin the other cabin the other one's gonna be wet right over on the other side and up beside the brook over there but as you can see here where the where the pond runs out it's still really unsafe just a little bit of ice in there but up here further you can see it's all white so I'm gonna walk up around the edge here and just test it and uh, we'll see see how it's doing there Christmas gift from the wife just in case I go through anywhere I forget what they're called ice picks or something not sure but we'll throw those on just in case About two inches thick right there maybe I don't know 10 12 feet off the shore and a half inches come on get in here where do you think you're going we we'll have a few days of cold weather yet before we can uh, put the quad up across here for sure so this pond has one brook that runs out this is this one here runs out there's a brook runs in up there, one up here where my cabin is going, and one way up the other end of the pond up that way, we'll say. Three brooks running in, one running out. So a lot of current that comes down through here when, when you get a lot, of, a lot of rain and stuff. And as a matter of fact, you can see over by this point, it's uh, still a lot of black ice there, or actually might even be open water right there. But So you have to be careful still. And the quad trail that goes up to my cabin location is actually right beside a brook. 
you guys have seen that before so I may get on the pond and be able to get up to there but then like trying to get off the pond near the brook with the uh, with the grizzly might be uh, might be trouble right so we'll make sure it's good and safe before we uh, before we do anything stupid that's for sure anyway let's head to my other cabin there and uh, we'll check our rabbit snares and stuff and uh, take Luke for a little run Back at the cabin here. Lukey is already on a rabbit down in front of the cabin here somewhere. He loves it, no doubt. Another beauty day. Okay, I got the fire going. Uh, we're gonna head out, check some snares. Check that mink box down by the brook there. And uh, probably do some hunting with Luke. Then I'll probably uh, stop back here, get warmed up, have a coffee before we head home. Well, guys, another snare broke here. That's three snares in this exact same lead that have broken. And I haven't got one rabbit here. Three broken snares. Unreal. Well, I guess I'll set it again and maybe fourth time is the charm. We'll have to see, I guess. Okay, I'm starting to wonder if maybe the roll of snares I had is faulty or something, but we got another broken snare in here. So that's three broken snares yesterday and two so far today. And uh, just wondering now if, uh, yeah, if it's the... Uh, a faulty roll of snares i know i know a lot of snares are breaking for people but this is ridiculous i mean you know i'm not snaring wild boars or anything here like they're just little rabbits you know but uh i think i'm gonna buy some new snares because this this uh actually was a couple of rolls of snares i had but i didn't buy them this year i bought them last year i think so maybe they were you know i don't know it's just weird uh, i'm start that's what i'm starting to think Unless these are all like giant rabbits or something, I don't know. But I guess I'll reset another one here and see uh, what happens tomorrow. Uh, I think I have one more snare to check after this, but that's pretty disappointing. Three missed rabbits yesterday and two so far today. But uh, I'll keep going anyway and see what happens. Nice and warm in here now. Where is he? Where is he, Pop? Where is he? Get him. Over here, Luke. Over here, I just seen him, buddy. Over here, Lukey. Come get him. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here, Luke. Yeah, he's there. Get him. Not sure if I got that on camera or not, but I just, I seen the rabbit when Luki was barking over here. Seen him move a few steps and then lost sight of him again, so.
road. Let's head back. Come on, maybe we get one on the way back. Twenty-one degrees in here right now. Luke's not ready to come in. Somebody out there? Who is it? Hello, Mr. Rabbit Chaser. So I just got some coffee and a cup of lip the noodle soup. Hey, looky. So yeah, another rough day on the snare line. Um, Lukey did flush a rabbit out there. I seen him in the cutover, but just for a split second, it was a bit too thick where the rabbit was. I just seen him move in there and that was it. I didn't see him after, but uh, Lukey is doing really well on the rabbits there. But uh, we're not doing very well with the rabbit snaring. They're uh, losing, we're losing a lot of rabbits, so. Hey bud, what do you want? What do you want? You want to come over here? You don't need to come over here, eh? Lie down, buddy. Lie down, take a load off. Right. When I, I had the kettle on the wood stove there because my propane is froze up again, I, I gotta I gotta get another, uh, what's it called, regulator for the outside propane tank. So I had it on the wood, had my, the kettle on the wood stove to uh, boil water. So Lukey and I laid down for a little bit, had a little nap there. Nice and warm in here and cozy, so why not have a little nap, hey bud? So yeah, I'm pretty pumped that we're getting some ice in the pond where I'm building the other cabin. That'll make things much more convenient, to say the least. Mm, tomorrow's supposed to be another nice day. Wind chill minus 10, so Sunday minus 7. Yeah, it looks like some cold weather still, so. Hopefully sometime next week. This is uh, Friday right now, so hopefully sometime next week. We'll get to cross that pond into the cabin site. And we can start stacking some logs, hey Luke? Yeah? You wanna come up? Come on. Come on. Oh. Big baby. Big baby, aren't ya? No, no, no. You don't want that stuff that's hot. That'll burn your snug off, but also in the evenings now I'll uh I'll be working on the ice shack, so I'll make sure to record that build for you guys as well. And uh yeah, I can't wait to uh to get some ice fishing in. Three more weeks and the season will be open, so hopefully in three weeks there'll be lots of ice. And we can uh Get some ice fishing videos out for you and some overnights in the ice shack. That should be pretty cool. Yeah, so hopefully we have uh, better luck on the snares tomorrow. Or a bit of luck with uh, rabbit hunting with Lukey. Um, I'm going to pick up some new snares, try some new snares. Probably replace the ones that are out. As long as it's not going to snow. It was calling for a bunch of snow. For the weekend but now that's uh, pretty much caught off so so i'm gonna buy some new snares and uh, replace the ones that are out just in case it's the wire 
some faulty boy or something that's uh, causing the causing all the rabbits to get away. But anyway, I'm just gonna finish my coffee and soup. Then we're gonna head out. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching guys, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. See you boy.